Okay, health bars here. Let me just um give you a brief rundown here. I've already talked about this in previous videos, but with the boss here, um, there is several images here. There's goes all the way down to seven images. So it starts out blue, and then every time you hit him, it turns yellow, 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 and then it goes to red, red, red. Then he's dead completely. <clears throat> so the last one. Last image has a yellow bar at the bottom, but there's no red because that one goes toward that goes for the last image, which is going to be the activate the blinking boss bar to kill them off completely. But um, you do a crate and you go to main the main uh, control tab, then it's going to stay it set to this so global dot hit points equals eight so once it hits eight that means that he's going to be, be completely dead now i would think it would be seven because he has seven, seven images but it's got to be eight because it makes um it jump to the last image where it shows the blinking image of the health bar if i have it set to seven then it's going to the image is going to stop at the last um the image is going to stop at the last yellow bar at the bottom where it's going to show it all red at the top and one yellow strip at the bottom and it's going to stop there. That's why I have it set to 8. Uh, image index and image speed is 0 because you don't want it to animate. You don't want the, the health bar to animate. So you want to make sure it's still image. So it's, it stays at this first image here. Depth minus 100. Put it in front. Um, also... The this I set well I set the width to three 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 zero zero by one nine nine one, but like I said, there's no there's no no camera view, so you don't have to worry about the the images bouncing because in this um in this uh, video I don't have to have the camera view follow the health bars. I can just put it where I want it at. So this red one indicates the blinking one, but it's deactivated when you first start because you don't want to die right away. So once the health bar is on the screen one is completely gone, then it's going to, it's going to jump and deactivate this one and activate this one. All right, so... That's what's happening there now. So when my character hits the boss, it's going to do this. Image if image equals index Pac-Man equals eight, then um, after if all the images equal 8, then it's going to jump to, it's going to activate the blinking health bar, which is, you know, it's at minus 101, so it's going to put that in front of the health bar in the back, the one that's green or blue. And then it's going to deactivate the, the boss itself. So if you hit him when he's at, if you hit him when he's looking, looking up at the top, then he's going to die after so many hits. If you're if he's down and you shoot him, then he's going to it's going to be de it'll deactivate the object down position. So each images each images of the boss you're going to when you hit him with the, the weapon, it's going to deactivate that it's going to destroy that character if he's in that position when you shoot the weapon out. It's going to deactivate that that image, which is this image right here. If he's you know, if this if, if this is the boss and this is the the weapon you hit him at when he's when he's just not moving at all, then that's what happens. It's going to be he'll be deactivated. The object bad stays going to be deactivated because <clears throat> I don't have I don't have this parented. I don't know what what image I'll I'll hit him at when he completely dies. So I got to make sure I account for that for that that image itself and what's going to happen and then the. Blinking health bar is going to take over for 15 milliseconds, and then it's going to end game. 
so it's going to cycle through. So it's going to cycle through all the images, and then it's going to activate the blinking health bar, and it's going to destroy the or deactivate the bad stay because that's what I have it set up. If I if I hit the bad stay with the weapon, then he'll be deactivated. Same applies to the goes goes up. If I hit him at the goes up, then he's going to be deactivated too. But um, basically, he's probably going to going to kill him when he's on the ground, completely eye level, because I'm not going to have a setup where he has two weapons shoot. It's going to just be one single shoot to make it a little more difficult. And like I said, each separate image of the boss, he's going to move up or move down or move back and forth. And it doesn't help. It doesn't affect the health bar because I don't have a parent. It doesn't affect it. So the health bar remembers where where you shoot them at, and what position, and it's going to cycle through. Um, in the right, you know, if you shoot them once, it'll go to the next health bar down. And if you and the ball switches to that image again, it's not going to it's not going to change the health bar back to full health like. If you use the game maker health bar, so the code works great. It remembers how many hits you hit the boss at, even though he switches back to that image again. <clears throat> so you don't have to have a parented. Because <clears throat> if you have a parented, it messes up, and so somehow it messes up with the the weapon and his movements. So don't have the images parented. <clears throat> Not for the boss, anyways. And then you're gonna destroy the weapon once you once the weapon hits the boss, it's gonna destroy other. Destroy the weapon and it's gonna take it's gonna take a hit. And like I said, I'm not gonna to explain too much here because I've already talked about it in previous videos. I'm just trying to talk about stuff that you may need to know about because I haven't talked about before in other videos but I think everything is explained here um, and then you have the, the, the bag you have the good, good you have the bad guy weapon after 50 milliseconds it's going to be destroyed set to others so it's going to fire so far out and then it's going to be destroyed or you can have it set to destroy the wep destroy the weapon once it um, once you go outside the room. You can have it destroyed if you wanted to. And the buttons here I've already talked about that before in other videos. But you press the left button for the mouse event. I mean for you know for your Android. And he's going to switch object player left to object player. So my ob my player that's moving left, he'll switch to going right. When you if he's going left and you press the right button, he's going he'll, he'll be going right, not left. When you release, it's going to change the object player to not moving at all. Make sure you have this set to object player, not self, because then it's going to mess with the button, and you want to make sure it messes with the player. Minus 100 on the, the the buttons. Same thing applies for the left button when you press it. If he's going right, then he's going to go left instead. Say yes, and then when you release, he stops. The left player stops. Make sure it's set to the player, not self. Otherwise, I'll move the button. Then you have the jump button. This just talks about the positioning using step. I didn't put a draw event in there because I'm not using the camera view. If I was using camera view, I would need a draw in there. Otherwise, you would see the, the button jump back and forth. But since it's stationary, there's no camera view. I don't need the draw event. Press left button. He's going to jump in the air. The object player is going to jump in the air. 80 speeds up in the air straight. And the fire button, 
press the left button on the fire button. This pertains to only the object player going right, not left. He's going to shoot the, the good weapon out at 50 speeds going right. And this zero means it's going, 90, um, going straight right. Speeds at 50 relative. And I do have the crosshairs. Uh, there's no crosshair on this one. Um, oh yeah, I do. Crosshair is at 67 minus 38, so it's way up here. So I can. This basically positions it where I want it at when he shoots it out, where his face is at. It shoots it out where I want him to shoot it out at. If you don't have the crosshairs in there, then you could be shooting it up in the air. So you have to have the crosshairs in here for it to shoot in the right direction. Um, in the location where you want it at for the image for the good guy and the bad guy, you know So like I said if I change this to zero zero And then when I play this you'll see what I'm talking about. It's going to be put put in different spots See how he shoots it up above his head and if I change the crosshairs, it's going to be in a different location. <coughs> See, it's behind him a little bit. So you need the crosshairs in the right location for him to shoot it out in the you know, where you want him to shoot it out at. Same way with the, the boss, too. I'm use the crosshairs to put it in the right position. Also, for each of these images of the health bar, I, I drew them a little bit different, so... Right here is, is showing him getting hit a little bit more damage. See, his cheek's going up a little higher. Here is back to normal a little, little bit, and then, you know, it's just shows some animation there. Like I said, with the blinking of the health bar, if you didn't want him just to end, end game here, you could change this to a room, where he jumps to a room, and it shows uh, more animation of the boss dying or something, so you could do some... Or have a message or something saying that you beat the game or whatever. So if you didn't want to end game, you could change this to uh, a room. To have it jump to a room. You know, use one of the room settings here. Jump to a room and have something happen. Same thing applies for the good health bar blinking. You can do the same thing. Jump to a room instead of end game. And then, like I said, I have the walls here, so he hits the wall, then he's not going to move. Hits the wall. The wall is set to solid. And went to this move tab, move free. So it's zero, zero in the direction of the speed, so he doesn't get stuck in the wall. And I have it set up here with the enter button. Firing two weapons, but you need to just shoot one weapon. I'll fix that and put it up there on the G in the GMX file when you download it. And like I said, uh, if he hits the the boss, then he's going to completely die. So deactivate the health bar, the green health bar, and go to the blinking health bar. So if you run into the boss, you'll completely die. It'll deactivate the the green health bar and activate the blinking health bar. But you probably don't have to have the deactivate in here for this because the blinking one's at minus 100. This one's at minus... I mean, this is a 101. This is at 100. So you're just going right on top of it and kill them off. The image will be on top because it's at minus 101. This is at minus 100. But it doesn't matter, really. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, I think I explained everything in here. Um, like I said, in the, and for the player, you parent it up. It works fine. But don't parent the boss up. Because I, I played it with the parented objects and it doesn't work right. 
with the boss anyways for parenting but it does for the player of course all right well thanks for watching